Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Teen Titans Spotlight on Aqualad by John Ostrander, Eric Larson, and Romeo Tanghal. Okay, this one is super cool for a ton of different reasons. Okay, so first of all, it has Aqualad, who I love. You know, I mean, come on, he's got a perm and what's not to love. So it also has a bitchin' Bill Sienkiewicz cover, and this is so cool. You got the Flash, Jericho, um, I guess that's Mento, and Cyborg, and this is just, like, such a cool effect. That's a great Sienkiewicz face. I love Bill Sienkiewicz's art. I feel like this must be around the time of the New Mutants, and this is very early DC work for Eric Larson. Um, uh, I think they were grooming him to take over the Teen Titans and it kind of never happened. I just watched like this three hour long interview with Eric Larson um, on comic book historians. It was really interesting and in depth. And in three hours, he never mentioned Freak Force, my favorite property of his. So I was a little disappointed by that, but oh well. So we have Aqualad here and this is this was a great series, uh, Teen Titans Spotlight on. It just featured, like, the Titans was at the height of their popularity. So they did the spin-off title, and it would be just, like, solo stories of the Titans. And, you know, we got to see fun characters like Aqualad. And, oh, my God, that's such a great shot. Thank you, Eric Larson. That Jericho looks hysterically amazing. I love Eric Larson's art. He just has such like a fun, quirky style and just really brings a different, um, I shouldn't say different energy, but like a, more like a classic energy. Like his comics are just fun and explosive and like, you know, good superhero actions. That's why I love Freak Force so much because it's like the closest thing. I feel like M Image ever did to like a fun classic superhero story where the stakes weren't so, so high and everything was so serious. You know, he has obviously a good sense of humor. I mean, come on, that's hysterical. Not that he wrote this, but you know, great Atlantis there. This is pretty impressive for his early work. You can see how his style has evolved so much. Um, he talked about learning how to ink um, on other people's work and so this is when he was being inked by somebody else. And I do have to say, like, I absolutely love um, his art when he inks his own stuff. I prefer when artists ink their own work and um, his work is definitely next level <clears throat> when it comes to um, inking himself. And um, as most comic book artists I feel are, I prefer it that way. Um it just feels a little more authentic. Not to say that anchors are bad because I mean, a lot of anchors save a lot of uh, comic artists bacon big time. And uh, you know, some pencilers don't even ink that well. It's a, it's a struggle for me, I'll tell you that. Um, this is a great page of Rita Farr and Aqualad. And I love the dichotomy of that. That seems like a very classic, like Eric Larson kind of page. He has a lot of uh, Kirby. I was just going to say he brings a lot of Kirby energy. And suddenly we get Kirby Crackle. <clears throat> and I have to say that what a great homage, first of all. Kirby Crackle is so much fun. I try to include it in everything I do. And I just feel like it's sort of like a, a standard for comic book artists. Like, like, I feel like I've said it before, but they should teach a course on Kirby Crackle. And you can do it well and do it wrong. And Eric Larson got it right, so hats off to you. Not that you need my approval, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, this is a totally fun Aqualad story. If you guys have never read Teen Titans Spotlight, it's totally fun, worth checking out, a worthy part of the Titans mythos, and some fun killer art by a young Eric Larson in the comic industry. Um, I feel like this is pre Doom Patrol. Um, and it's also written by John Ostrander, who's a great, uh, writer who wrote Suicide Squad. So it's a classic Teen Titan spotlight tale. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. All right. Thanks guys.